Microsoft's Data Centre. Microsoft has announced plans to build new data centre campuses at new locations. As the demand for cloud services continues to grow, the software giant is positioning itself to exploit emerging opportunities. If you thought you knew everything about data centres and how they are built, then you've seen nothing yet. The new data centre that will be built in Georgia will have high-tech equipment and transmission tools unlike anything you have ever seen before. Microsoft has also announced plans to go green by using renewable energy to power its facilities across the globe. In this video, we'll cover the new plans for the data centre and how Microsoft is changing the science of data storage as we know it. Not too long ago, Microsoft announced that the company was opening a new cloud data campus, or data center, as it's commonly called, in Georgia State. The plan is to expand their reach in Atlanta in a move that will make this area the third largest storage center behind Puget Sound and the data center in Silicon Valley. Named the East US 3, this center will cover a landmass that will extend from Fulton to Douglas County. This centre is going to provide advanced Azure cloud services to Microsoft customers, not only in the US, but the rest of the world. The decision makers at Microsoft decided to deliver what is called an Azure Availability Zone. For those who don't know what an Azure Availability Zone is, this simply means a centre that is located in a separate location that operates independently by relying on its own power, networking and cooling system. Currently, Microsoft has several Azure availability zones scattered all across the world, and this new one in Georgia will extend the data collation and storage capacity of the tech giant. Why did Microsoft decide to build another data center in Georgia? When asked to explain Microsoft's plan for the center, the VP in charge of cloud operations, Noel Walsh, said that the demand for digital services had been on the upswing in the last decade as interest continually grew along with usage across diverse industries and sectors. The demand for extensive data collaboration, remote work and cloud services had placed a strain on existing infrastructure, hence the need to build a new centre to accommodate growing demand. The Georgia Centre will not only deliver smooth data transfer and storage, it will also provide users with world-class privacy features and data security. To throw more light on the growing demand for cloud services, look no further than the research analysis conducted by Gartner. Gartner is an analysis firm that published results of its findings, which showed that as many as 70% of businesses were looking to increase their cloud budget in light of the human-to-human -human restrictions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The result went on to show that by the end of 2021, cloud spending was billed to grow by 18% and also hit an all-time value of $305 billion. So you can see why Microsoft decided to expand their capacity. Due to growing demands, the company had to pursue an expansionist strategy to sustain demand and growth. Why Georgia? The decision to pick Georgia was largely due to the capacity of the area to provide stable and consistent power supply that is both affordable and clean. Like most companies around the globe, Microsoft has pledged to deploy greener infrastructure moving forward into the next decade. By the year 2025, the company is targeting a 100% shift to renewable energy for all its buildings, campuses and data centres. This is in line with Microsoft's long-term target of becoming carbon negative by 2030. But that's not the great part. The great part is that they are planning towards removing all traces of carbon from the atmosphere, which the company has emitted since its inception in 1975. More importantly, Microsoft is working towards a water positive goal in all its data centres, including this one in Georgia. Water positivity actually means that the tech giant will reduce the litres of water it consumes, not only in Georgia, but all across their facilities worldwide. These new environmentally friendly features will be present in the centre. All the supercomputers in the centre will be energy efficient and will produce zero waste by 2030. Ultra Modern Cooling System The cooling system is another amazing tech feature in this data centre. Rather than rely on water to cool the facility, the centre will use outside air for 6 out of 12 months of the year. During the summer months when the temperature rises, evaporation cooling will be used to cool the computers and equipment in the facility. Supercomputers 
Similar to all its data centers scattered across the world, the computers that will be installed in this facility are no ordinary computers. They are supercomputers with the capacity to process and transmit data in nanoseconds. The cloud service will also be abridged to guarantee speedy loading times and data transmission. Businesses that use this centre, like the others owned by the company, will enjoy premium Azure cloud service benefits. Data collation, collaboration and transfer will be done at supersonic speed. Future plans have also been mapped out to develop 60 more centres across the globe to broaden Microsoft's reach. Sweden expansion. What is even more interesting is Microsoft's reach in Europe with a plan to build another data centre region in Sweden next year to extend their digital footprint in Europe. The facility will be powered by Vattenfall, a European electric company. The power system will provide the facility with matching renewable energy generation tools. Vattenfall plans to use the Sweden centre to test run its technology next year. As for power consumption, Microsoft will purchase special energy certificates called European Guarantees of Origin. All the computers in the Swedish regional centre will have the same technology like the ones in Georgia, with computers arranged in rows and evenly spread across the campus. In what promises to be a breakaway from the norm, we expect Georgia to be a starting point for Microsoft's drive towards the provision of advanced cloud services using environmentally friendly equipment. And that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. See you in the next one.